What's going on guys, Matash here with MTech and today I have in front of me these three different products, all of which are going to allow you to take your Google Home Mini and mount it onto a wall. So these are actually pretty cool things. Um, these are all made by a company called Mount Genie and I want to give a big shout out to them for not only sending these out to me to review but also sponsoring a giveaway. So if you guys want a chance to win one of these, make sure you watch till the end to find out how to enter. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so all three of these make it super easy to mount your Google Home Mini to a wall. They just kind of vary in practicality from the most practical to the least practical. And in terms of coolness, the least cool to most cool. You kind of see how those go hand in hand, go opposite of each other really. So let's go ahead and start off with the most practical and least cool. And that's right, this one right here. This is the Google Home Mini backpack. So as you can see, like your Google Home Mini will go right here. Uh, it comes in three parts. You've got the wall outlet, which will plug into the wall. You've got this part that actually holds the Google Home Mini. And then you've got this nice little tiny, tiny cable that'll connect your Google Home Mini to power. So you just take your Google Home Mini and then make sure you've got your micro USB lined up correctly. You plug it in here and then you just click until it locks in place. And then there you go. You can see why it's called the backpack because it kind of looks like Google Home Mini is wearing a backpack. But yeah, so you just plug it in and then obviously you just stick this into a wall outlet and there you go, it works perfectly fine. This is the one I've been using the most because this one requires the least amount of work slash the least uh, things that you need to get it working. So this one's just straight up. Anybody can pretty much use this. Um, I use this in my kitchen counter where I have outlets that are pretty high up so it's very visible. So yeah, this is one of the coolest ones. And I think this is our most popular model so Definitely the reason for that. Um, this also comes in white. So if you guys are interested in that, you can also get this in a white color. So if you have the white or pink one, it's probably better to go with that. I also have a black one. That's why I got this. But yeah, so that one's easily the most practical, but I think it's the least cool one. The rest, the other two kind of get a little bit cooler because they not only not take up an outlet, but they're also just a little bit more futuristic. Um, one thing I forgot to mention with this. So uh, you have this little extra part at the bottom, which if since this has to go on the top outlet the way the uh, Outlet is shaped, but you may have trouble fitting like a large power brick So I have my Google Pixel 2 charger and when I try to plug it in it it plugs in but there's a little bit of Wiggle room to it. You have to move this around a little bit. So it works perfectly fine But yeah, you may have some issues if you have like a really large charger trying to put it at the same outlet as this one So something to be aware of all right, so next up we have this one right here. This is a faceplate for an outlet. So this one is only gonna work if you already have USB ports built into your outlet. So the way this works is you just take your existing outlet, you take the faceplate and replace it with this. Uh, it comes with screws to keep it in place, but your Google Home Mini will just sit right in here as such. So you just make sure once again, the micro USB faces the side that's open. And you just pop it in there and you'll hear once again that click. And then this thing comes with this right angle US micro USB to USB connector. So you have that plugged in. And then when you're replacing the wall outlet, it'll just plug in to one of those micro USB ports and they have like the right distance and everything. If you already have an outlet with USB ports built in, this is probably the much better way to do it because this way it also doesn't take up an outlet. So you have all those outlets still free except for the one USB and it mounts it away from the outlet so you can really plug anything you want into it. This one's really cool. I would love to be able to use it, but currently I can't. But if you guys have an outlet with USB built in, this is definitely the one I would go for. All right, so let's talk about the third and final one, the one I think is coolest, but least practical. And really the reason it's least practical is because you're going to have to drill a hole in your wall have to saw a hole in your wall and then this thing's just gonna sit inside of that hole and then the Google Home Mini will go ahead and slot in there like this and that's what it'll be look like. It'll this will just be inside of your wall with this Google Home Mini sticking out. So that's why it's the most impractical the fact that you have to make a hole in your wall. But the reason I think this is the coolest is because have you guys ever seen those old houses with intercom systems? I don't know if they just exist in old houses but that's the only place I've ever seen them is they have this intercom system where you could talk throughout the whole house. Now, uh, what I was thinking was how cool would it be to have the Google Home Mini inside of every single room and have 
a broadcast system that works throughout the house. Not only that, but you also get a smart speaker inside every single room, somewhere where it's practical, like on a wall, on the ceiling, what have you. So would that not be awesome to have a Google Home Mini built into each room? So, I mean, I know you could do that. You can put this on a table or whatever in every single room. But to me, this is just a little bit more futuristic, just a little bit cooler. But like I said, it's a little bit impractical because some of you may not be ready to make a hole in the wall. I'm not quite there yet. I think I will be putting one of, I'll be making use of this and putting one up in my home bedroom, but I'm still a little hesitant on it. So, but let's talk a little bit more about this thing itself. So what you have with this, like I said, is this, uh, it comes with this drywall template so you can make a little hole there, It'll, a nice little template that'll show you where to make all the marks and everything. Um, comes with. It also comes with this six foot extension cable. So it's a micro USB extension. So you'll still have to use the existing power cable. And then when you combine these two, I think you get up to like 10 feet worth of cabling. So uh, micro USB, why can't it be reversible? Wow, that's actually pretty impractical for some reason. Oh, ah, guess what? I'm doing it backwards. All right, so yeah, along with the power cable, you get about 10 feet worth of cord. So this will be have to go behind your wall and get to it somehow. And that's another reason it's a little impractical. So you're gonna have to provide power to it. And that may be a little bit harder for some than others. Um, but definitely, I think this is one of the coolest things. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put some pictures up here where you guys can see what it looks like. So these are some examples of people that have done it from the reviews on Amazon. Now, the only thing you're losing functionality wise is you're losing access to the mute switch. And let's face it, if you're putting this into the wall, you're not muting it that often. But the nice thing is it is actually really easy to get out. So the way they recommend doing it is by using a screwdriver, just putting it in this little notch that's here and then just giving it a little twist and it'll come out like that. So yeah, this this one is by far the coolest to me. The one I'm least likely to use, but the coolest one is this one. All right, so there you guys go. Three different ways to mount your Google Home Mini to a wall. So you know what? Let's talk about how you guys can win one of these. So it's gonna be a pretty simple contest. Just make sure you're subscribed to the channel, uh, leave a like, and then leave a comment down below as to which one you want and why. And like I said, if you guys don't have a Google Home Mini, these are also available for the Echo Dot. So just, if you guys would prefer that, just let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you guys in this one. Uh, like I said, big shout out to Mount Genie. I'll leave a link to their website in the description and a link to all these products if you guys are interested in buying in case you don't win. So that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.